Dan Dickow, Scorebook Live, Washington, here at the GSL Media Day, here with North Central's head coach, Jace Wombold, going into his seventh year at the school on the north side of the river here in Spokane. What are some of the things that you must do this season to have a successful year, considering you lost eight seniors who were a core of your program over the last couple of years? Yeah, um, well, kind of like we talked about, we're going to have to grow up really fast. Um, you know, it's it's we, we lost our a core group of eight guys that have done a great job in our program. Um, they they had a majority of the playing time at, our, at the varsity level last year and have all graduated off. Um, so we've got basically a JV group that is moving up and going to get thrown to the wolves. So they're going to have to grow up really fast. So it's going to be an experience thing. Um, there's going to have to be an adjustment to the to the level of play, to the speed of the play, uh, to the physicality. So um, the preseason is going to be really critical for us. Uh, to really try and get ready for for our tough uh, GSL schedule. You're a coach who spent some time at the college level, a very successful program, Whitworth at the Division three level. Yeah. So you've seen players have to make a jump from the high school to the college level. And now you talk about the jump from JV to varsity level. How do you lean on that experience and share those experiences with those players to get them ready? Well, a lot of it is just it's a commitment piece. Um, you know, as we know, obviously the season is a three to four month deal, but kids that are really serious about it, wanting to be great high school players, wanting to make the jump and be a great college player, it takes a lot of hard work. I mean, you have to be willing to be very lonely in the gym for a lot of hours. And so, you know, the culture of our program at North Central that we're really proud of is just trying to teach our kids, hey, if, you know, if you want to be great, if you want to be elite, it's difficult to do. You've got to be rare. You've got to be different than other people and willing to put in the time and, and make choices and sacrifices that oftentimes kids your age are not willing to do. Your patience on the offensive end um, and your solid efforts on the defensive end have made you guys a difficult team to play. Uh, another opposing coach said you guys were a frustrating team to play at times. Share a little bit about your philosophy on both sides of the ball. Um, you know, coaching at North Central, we, we, we understand that we have a unique set of challenges when it comes to trying to compete at a really high level. And so we do feel like we have to do things differently. We have to feel like we embrace this mentality of trying to outlast the opponent. And really a big shift for us, uh, it's kind of funny, is um, growing up playing and then coaching, I and my staff have always believed in being a really hard-nosed, man-to-man defensive principal team. And um, going into last year, we made a drastic shift. And uh, we actually converted to being more of a zone team. Um, we, a lot of learning. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, we, we took a fall retreat, went over to the University of Washington, learned from Coach Hopkins, who brought the Syracuse 2-3 uh, zone. He, it's not a 2-3. He'd tell you it's a 2-2-1. Two, two, um, but uh, we thought, hey, you know, this could be something that could give us an advantage. Um, and there's a lot of things that go in with that. And so we've really tried to hang our hat on that. It's kind of been a branding or a trademark thing of our program now of trying to be a tough zone team and the game plan and scouting that goes into that. So um, that's been a lot of fun. Uh, and our kids have worked really hard. Our coaches have worked really hard. So uh, we're looking forward to continuing to try to be better at that moving forward. Mentioned this is going into your seventh year as a head coach. So you've seen a lot of really good teams. You've seen a lot of really good players come through the GSL in this time. Uh, What's the best team you've seen in your seven years, and who's the best player you've seen in this league your last seven years? Um, th there's, been, there's been a handful. Um, I would say, obviously, the last couple Gonzaga prep teams have been pretty special, um, especially when you know, you've got that many kids in one squad that are receiving all league uh, honor, honors that they're getting. Um, I think you know, if, if you had to single out a few, uh, obviously, Anton Watson uh, was uh, it, it was a really special high school player. Obviously, very difficult to guard and can do a lot of things. So, really looking forward to seeing him and some of those other guys moving forward. More than one coach mentioned uh, your gym as being a difficult place to play. Um, can you describe why that might be? Um, I yeah, you know, I don't really know. And, and when you said that, that's kind of the first time I've heard that. Uh, and that's neat. That's really cool. Um, you know, maybe it's the idea that the way that North Central was built when they remodeled the school, they actually put the gym uh, really underground. And so it's below our cafeteria. When you kind of walk through our school, you got to walk down some stairs to get there. 
Um, as we continue to kind of build our community and our school spirit around our program, we're getting more students there. So as we're packing the gym, you know, the stands are kind of right on top of the court. So um, we have a new sound system this year, so that'll add to it. Uh, so, yeah, we're just trying to create a fun experience and a fun environment, and uh, that's, that's neat to know. That's cool to know. For North Central to have a successful year, what needs to happen? Oh, wow. We're going to have to be really tough. Um, we're going to have to be really gritty, uh, really scrappy. Uh, offensively, we're going to have to be uh, really solid with the ball, uh, minimize turnovers, um, get our kids to understand and buy into their roles and shot selections, you know, great shots for us. Um, defensively, uh, really trying to dictate the other team's offense and manipulate their offense with our zone um, and kids really understanding their roles within the zone. And then lastly, obviously, just possessions, controlling possessions, having to be a solid rebounding team uh, and all those things. Staying healthy is huge. Um, young group of kids, like I mentioned. And so the physicality, you know, can take its toll. Um, and so kids staying healthy and, and uh, really just, you know, embracing the grind of the entire season. Well, we're looking forward to following North Central this season in what looks to be a pretty wide-open GSL race for the title. I'm Dan Dickow for Scorebook Live Washington. That's North Central head coach Jace Wombold.